Hello, my name's Daniel. Today, we're reading Three by the Sea by Minnie Gray. So get comfy and I'll begin. On a pebbly stretch of shore, in a beach hut by the sea, there lived a black cat, a white dog, and a little grey mouse. The dog tended to the garden. The cat took care of the housework. The mouse looked after the cooking. And they lived happily. Or so they thought. One night, a stranger blew into the shore and found his way to the beach hut by the sea. He invited himself in. The stranger announced that they were the lucky winners of a visit from the Winds of Change Trading Company and it would be absolutely free. He explained that if you felt strangely discontented or wondered if your life was missing a special something, then Winds of Change was the company for you. And, of course, everything was absolutely free. The stranger also explained that he needed to sleep in a proper bed with plenty of pillows and eiderdowns. There was only one bed. The next day, after breakfast, the stranger took Mouse aside and said, You know, Mouse, I don't mean to be rude about Dog, but his idea of gardening is a bit odd. He only plants bones. Who wants a bone garden? Where are the flowers? Where are the vegetables? Where are the herbs? The stranger gave Mouse some things to read from his suitcase. After lunch, the stranger said to Dog, Dog, while you've been busy digging the garden, Cat has been doing the housework. Come and look at Cat doing the housework. Hmm, said Dog. Well, we didn't sleep very well last night. But he felt a little upset. The stranger gave Dog a present too. Around supper time, the stranger found Cat alone and said, You know, Cat, I've never been that keen on fondue myself. But I suppose that mice never get tired of cheese. Do you have fondue every night? Pretty much, said Cat. Cat also got some gifts from the suitcase. At dinner, everyone was very quiet. Until, a spot more fondue, anyone? asked Mouse. And, why do we always have that fondue? Well, you do the cooking then if you don't like it. Maybe I will. Well, maybe you won't fall asleep while you're doing it. What do you mean? I saw you doing your so-called cleaning. That's not fair, dog. What about a garden? When did we say that we wanted a bone garden? Your cooking is horrible. Your housework is rubbish. Your garden's a mess. That night, while Cat and Dog were trying to sleep, Mouse was packing his things, planning to travel somewhere where his cooking was appreciated. At about midnight, the cat woke with a lurch and a sinking feeling that something was wrong. She walked along the seafront. On the pebbles was a bundle of things, the sort of things that belonged to Mouse. Through the roar of the sea, her keen ears heard a desperate, faraway squeak. Cat couldn't swim, but she waded into the water anyway. She just had to rescue Mouse. Cat scooped up Mouse and put him on her head, but she was having trouble staying afloat. Then, 
From the watery darkness, a pale blob got nearer and nearer and nearer. Dog was a good swimmer, good enough for all three of them. Dog carried them all to safety by the shore. Back on the beach, they made sure that everyone was still alive and nobody was drowned. They all agreed it was probably time for the stranger to leave. But in the beach hut, there was not a shred of the stranger or his suitcase, except a note and these packets of seeds. Called away on urgent business. Borrowed boat, hope you don't mind. Here is the last free gift for you from the Winds of Change Company. Yours, a stranger esquire. And now, if you happen to drop by the beach hut near the sea, you might notice that they are doing things a little differently. You might see mouse and dog cultivating their bone and herb garden. Or you might see cat and mouse making cheese and pilchard fondue, with a twist of thyme and a bay leaf. If it was first thing in the morning, you'd probably hear cat and dog humming a tune as they kept the hut cosy and clean. And you might just notice a scent of herbs in the sea air. Thanks for listening. See you next time.